Hi, welcome. I'm Cheryl Ives. I'm a puppeteer and I do silk marionettes and I'm hoping to bring you several uh, shows. I wrote a book, two, two books, uh, To Wizard Mountain, which teaches the food groups, and The Pink Crystal, which is about <clears throat> never give up hope or refinding hope. And um, this story is Streganona and the Magic Pasta Pot. It's what happens when you do not have enough information. In Calabria, a long time ago, there lived an old lady named Streganona, which means Grandma Witch, for she had a magic touch. She could heal headaches with a hairpin and some oil, and she could find husbands for all the girls in the village, and they would come to her. Even the sisters from the convent would come to her for healing herbs, but she was getting old and she needed help on her little farm. So she put out a sign, help wanted. And Big Anthony came along and he saw the sign and he applied for the job. Big Anthony, she said, you must uh, weed the garden, do what the dishes, sweep the floor, milk and a feed of the gold, and a fetch of the water. And for all of this, I will give you three coins, a place to sleep, and food to eat. Gracias, gracias, Big Anthony said. Oh. But the one thing you must never do is touch my pasta pot. It's very valuable and I don't let anyone to touch it. See, si, see. Si. So from that day forward, he fed it the gold and he fetched it the water and straight and her and went about her good deeds. Then one day, he looked through the house window for there was Draganona singing. Bubble, bubble, my pasta pot. Boil me some pasta, nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to sup. Boil me enough pasta to fill me up. That's wonderful because it started to cook. The pasta started to cook. And then he heard her say, enough, enough pasta pot. I have a pasta nice and hot. So simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. And she called him in before he saw the three kisses. Mm, mm, mm. And they had their supper. Then as he was out fetching water, he told everybody in the town square about the magic pasta pot. And they laughed at him. And they said, ah, oh, Big Anthony, you must go to confession. You tell us such a lies. Well, he'll show them. And that day came sooner than we all expected. Because the next day, Streganona said to him, Big Anthony, she said, uh, I have to go over the mountain to see Strega Amelia. So there's a, there's a, a cheese in the cupboard and the bread if you get hungry. But remember, don't touch my pasta pot. See, see. So she went over the mountain to see Strega Amelia. Well, he didn't wait one minute. He ran to that pasta pot 
And he said, bubble, bubble, pasta pot. Boil me some pasta nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to sup. Boil me enough pasta to fill me up. And it started to, to cook pasta. And the pasta started to come up. Oh my, he said, this is wonderful. So he said, enough, enough, pasta pot. I have a pasta nice and hot. So simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. And he ran to the town square and he said, everybody grab a fork, so grab a bowl, so free a pasta at the Stregononas. Well, they didn't believe him, but they grabbed their forks and their bowls and they came anyways and he served everybody pasta, four, five helpings until the nuns from the convent, they could not eat anymore. They said, enough, enough pasta. You must stop that. I cannot eat another bite. So he went to the pasta pot and it was still cooking. Enough, enough pasta pot. I have a pasta nice and hot. So simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. But it kept cooking because he did not know about those three kisses. And it cooked onto the floor. But he was busy taking bows so he didn't see it right away. For he was a hero. And then one of the, the sisters from the comment said, Big Anthony, the, the pasta is on the floor headed out the door. And he looked. And he, he ran back and he said, pasta, enough, enough, I have a pasta nice and hot. Simmer down my pot of clay until, until I'm hungry another day. But it kept cooking. Stop, stop. And it kept cooking. And it went all over and out the door. And the mayor said, grab a ba barricade, grab, grab mattresses, grab doors. We've got to stop, it's going to drown the town. So, enough, enough, but he, it wouldn't stop, and it kept cooking and cooking and coming out the door. Wow, Stregonona come home the mountain just then, and she did not have to look twice to know what happened. She ran, she ran into the pasta pot, and she said, enough, enough, uh, pasta pot. I have a pasta nice and hot, so simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. Mwah, mwah, mwah. and it stopped and the mayor hollered string him up and uh, Streganona said no the punishment must have fitted the crime Big Anthony she said uh, you wanted to eat the pasta and I want to sleep in my little bed tonight so she grabbed a fork and gave it to Big Anthony and he had to eat up all that pasta